Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today, we're getting into this video real quick. We're working on this 2020 Hyundai Accent. We're gonna be removing this here Vapor Purge Solenoid. It could cause a few codes that we'll go over in a little bit in the video. Let's get started real quick. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove your electrical connection. Make sure your key is not in the ignition and it's not on somehow. Using the flathead screwdriver again on this quick connect hose, there's a little square tab on the top push down on that tab and then pull on the hose. Don't pull on the hose and then push on the tab. It's way harder to remove like that. Using a general pair of pliers, remove this lower hose clamp. And now everything else other than the bracket is done or removed. Using a 10 millimeter six point socket, I believe this one is. If I'm wrong, comment below with the right size socket, but I believe it was a 10. I lost my notes, uh, so sorry. But Remove this lower screw, this will remove the bracket and you'll be able to take the purge solenoid off. The purge solenoid could cause a lot of codes and poor gas mileage, check engine light, it could cause a lot of stuff. The codes that it can cause, real quick, might be a P0443, a P0441, maybe a P0464 or P0455 and more codes as well. You could get a lean code because of this one. Now that you have your bracket loosened, you could pull the hose right off, make sure you keep uh, pressure or hold that hose when you pull on the purge solenoid itself so you don't do any damage. Here on the purge solenoid you could see your part numbers. If you could suck or blow through this purge solenoid, the purge solenoid is bad. It should hold pressure when there's no electrical uh, connection or continuity going through it. You could test it with a 9 volt battery as well. I guess getting fuel in my mouth the first time wasn't enough. I had to try it again. This one seems to be okay. Now to reinstall your vapor purge solenoid, put that lower hose on first, the one that you took off last. Use the hose clamp to make sure it's fastened properly. Don't lose your tools in the engine bay like I do. You should have one of those little magnet cups. That'd be really helpful. While you're watching this, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Comment below with the year of the vehicle that this video helped you on. And also, if you need this purge solenoid, there should be links in the description below to purchase those as well. Getting the bolt started on the bracket is kind of hard. It's in a tight area, but make sure you use your fingers to start it first. When tightening it, I wouldn't tighten it over maybe 13 pounds. Probably 9 to 11 pounds would probably be preferable if you were to use a torque wrench. You don't want to over tighten this and strip something out on the block. Get this nice and snug. You can see I'm not going too tight using a quarter inch. Like, subscribe, and share while you're watching, please. We're almost done. This is real quick. This is your hose with the quick connect. You're just going to push it on and listen for the click. Ah, right there. You hear it? And now your electrical connection. And that's it. You can take care of a code on yourself, on yourself, by yourself, I should say. Make sure you comment below with any questions, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video.